from Harold's Purple Crayon Treasury, Harold's Trip to the Sky. One night, Harold got up, made sure there was a moon so he wouldn't see things in the dark, and went to get a drink of water. So he wouldn't see things in the dark? You'd think he'd put a moon there so he could see things, but whatever. He wondered about the things people see in the dark, and where they came from. He was glad he couldn't see them in the moonlight. Suddenly he realized he didn't see anything at all in the moonlight. There was nothing to see. He was in the middle of a desert. Maybe there'll be a saguaro. No wonder he was so thirsty, but luckily he had brought his purple crayon. And he knew where to find water in a desert. There was always a pool of water somewhere near a palm tree. Harold drank deeply. There's nothing like drinking nice, cool water on a desert. But there isn't much else to do in a desert, Harold realized as he looked around, except maybe play in the sand. Then he remembered how the government has fun in the desert. It shoots off rockets. Harold decided to go to the moon. On a good, fast rocket, he figured he could get there and back in time for breakfast. He fired the rocket, and off it went. But the rocket missed the moon. It missed it by a mile, and Harold went up and up. Up and up he went into the dark. Harold tried to see where he was going by the stars. He tried planets and comets. What he really needed to light his way <coughs> was another moon. But when Harold looked closely, what he saw wasn't a moon. To his amazement, it was a flying saucer. Harold had heard about flying saucers. People saw them in the dark, and nobody knew who was inside flying them. He decided he had better land his rocket right away. He landed it with a bump on the bottom of a strange planet. There was no danger of falling off so big a planet. However, Harold thought he would feel a little more comfortable at the top. He wondered what planet he was on. In the dark light of the stars, he looked for some sign that might tell him. He was on Mars. Harold had heard of men on Mars, so he yelled a couple of hellos, hopefully. He thought of the flying saucer out there. He thought of the things that people see in the dark. He felt a great need for company. He was sure any man on Mars would be cordial to a visit visitor like Harold who had come all this way to chat with him. <clears throat> he had to draw on his scanty knowledge of what men on Mars looked like. But his looks wouldn't matter in the dark, so Harold didn't care much what he turned out to look like. All Harold wanted was to know... There was some sort of friendly face close by, even if he couldn't see it clearly in the dark. Then all of a sudden, Harold did see clearly. It was the face of a thing. It was a thing people see in the dark, and it was sitting in a flying saucer. Harold ran. Then he thought and stopped. Probably the thing was about to fly to Earth and scare somebody. Maybe some little child. Bravely, Harold crept back. He approached on tiptoe so the thing wouldn't hear him, and he reached out with his purple crayon, and he put a completely damaging crack 
and the flying saucer. Before the thing could grab him, he was off again, chuckling triumphantly. He ran as fast as he could in the dark. <clears throat> Happily, most of the way was downhill. He hoped he wouldn't fall head over heels. He arrived safely, heels overhead, at the bottom of Mars, where the rocket was. But by this time, Harold had enough of adventure. He wanted to get home in a dependable way. So he climbed down on the stars. It was sure, but slow, and the points of the stars hurt his feet. Harold wished he were home. He recalled that the best way to wish is on a good big shooting star. Instead of wishing, it occurred to him at the last moment to jump aboard. He shot right down to Earth where he made a neat two-point landing. He hadn't passed the moon on the way and he wondered what happened to it. It wasn't anywhere around. Then he realized the night was just about gone and it was time for the sun to come up. He was hungry. The sun appeared right on time. <clears throat> it came up big and bright. Harold remarked that it was going to be a nice day. Nobody was ever bothered by flying saucers and, and things in the sunshine. But for a startled moment, he thought he saw a flying saucer. It was on the horizon, looking as if it had just come into, the, into land. He was mistaken. It wasn't a saucer. It was an oatmeal bowl. Harold happened to like hot breakfasts. He quickly drew up a chair. and sat down to eat. <clears throat>